for the most critical patient. His heart is still not beating, and he cannot breathe on his own. He must be taken to a trauma center as soon as possible. But here is where paramedic training comes into play. The patient has a better chance of survival if they first take the time to stabilize him at the scene. And with all the equipment at their disposal, there is no better place to do that than in the back of an ambulance. We need somebody to come bag him, and we come need somebody to ride with us. CPR, come on, in. Squeezing the bag well, valve mask forces oxygen into the lungs, but Chris doesn't like what he hears through his stethoscope. Gretchen, let's reconfirm breath sounds, please. Right. He's a little shallow in the left. I don't know if the tube's down too far, or if he needs to be decompressed. The patient has reduced breath sounds. Something, either fluid or a pocket of air, is pressing against his lungs. Okay. I need some more tape to secure this tube better, and then we're out of here. Right there, hardest, hardest They've done what they can do immediately. They must now get to the hospital. There we go, let's go. 